yo yo people wag one welcome back to runs tech hub and today i have with me the b saver p5 mate pro the p5 mate the original one has been discontinued from their website so this is the new device that they're pushing out now b savior p5 mate pro so i'm going to quickly go around the box do an unboxing and show you how to set everything up so on the front we just have the picture we have the description the name nothing else on the front on the left hand side here all we have is the website that you can get this from and the website where you can find information as well on the right hand side we have exactly the same thing so the website again on the top we have nothing on the bottom we have nothing but on the back this is where we get some more information about this device so it says usb connection stable zero delay what this means for example i have a zim matrix and with my zim matrix to play ps5 games i have to do ps remote play so in some instances it will 100 introduce delay to your system because it has to go across the internet and back but with this there's no need for you to go across the internet you plug this into your ps5 and it makes your ps5 think that this is an original controller from some company it says support for two player games again i'm assuming there that you'll be able to connect two controllers to this device using bluetooth because it now has bluetooth and then you can plug that into your system and play whatever two player games you have and there it says suitable for various usb devices i only have a zim matrix i had a zim apex before and a zim 4 before but i don't have those anymore so i won't be able to test this next it says it has wireless for a variety of game pads so it shows a bluetooth sign which means that we can connect to this via bluetooth external power supply port i remember from the b-loader pro that it had an extra usb-c cable so that would supply extra power because in some cases the original b-loader would lose power lose connection and wouldn't work as well we have a 3.5 millimeter earphone port so headphone jack there professional forum and for better service i haven't actually used their forum i've always just set everything up it just works straight away and i've just been able to do everything i need to do and it says built-in multi macro function macros are not something i ever use in games i normally just play the game as it's meant to be played but just with the mouse and a keyboard and at the bottom of that we have product parameters that just means what's inside the box the size the weight so on and so forth nothing crazy there so i'm gonna go ahead and unbox this now So inside the box, we have two USB cables, USB-A to USB-A, and that's also USB-A to USB-A. We have an adapter here, which I'm guessing would be the Bluetooth adapter. I'm not entirely sure. I will go in and check this out and let you know. And finally, we have the B Savior P5 Mate Pro here. It's black instead of white. The original P5 Mate was white. This one's black. There is nothing else inside the box, but we do have instructions. So I'm going to go ahead, scan this, read the instructions, see what needs to be done, and come back. After watching the unboxing, you might be thinking, what the hell is a B Savior P5 Mate? But I'm going to show you. So this is your original B Savior P5 Mate. This is on their website. This one has been discontinued as far as I can tell and you can simply click on new P5 Mate Pro. Now I will put a link in the description so you can go directly to this website as well and what you can see here is what B Savior P5 Mate is. It tells you it's the best gaming adapter period. Um, that's what they have on the website. What makes it a Pro I believe is the fact that it now has a built-in original PS5 controller chip so that means whatever controller you plug into your devices. So I have a Zim Matrix but I know of the Kronos Edge, Zim Apex which I use to have if you plug that into your b savior p5 mate your ps5 will see it as an original controller which means that you can just play any game using mouse and well not any game but most games using mouse and keyboard quite easily i'm going to quickly use this website to run through some of the features that it says are on there i haven't used mine yet i just got it just unbox it in front of you saw so here it's saying it connects effortlessly with chronos zen titan 2 zim devices i had a zim apex before but now i have a zim matrix as well i've had every single zim device stuff so far in my opinion the Zim devices are really really good. I normally play on Xbox and on PlayStation as well. They work really well for me. There's also a Rear Snow S1 plus Xbox and PS4 controllers. Just plug in and play any PS5 game. No remote play, no setup, no input lag. The reason that they specified PS5 here in my opinion, again I have a Zim Matrix and the way you can use a Zim Matrix to play on PS5 is using PS Remote Play. So it streams your inputs over the network, so over the internet and sends it back down to your PlayStation which can introduce some lag. Well definitely does introduce some lag because it's using the network going to the internet then coming back down what this does it allows you to simply plug in and play directly on the ps5 as if this were the controller that's been used it says it now supports bluetooth 5 which i'm guessing you can plug in or connect different controllers again nothing here on the website is brand new this stuff was all on the box already it says new pro features button mapping that's probably not something i'm going to mess with because i'm going to use my zim matrix to plug directly into this then plug this into my playstation and just do everything that way because i really like the way my zim matrix is set up i'm not going to be using button 
combos, but that's something that you can use. I'm guessing you can just program in a button combo and it will just do it for you quite easily. Reduce recoil. Again, not something I'm particularly interested in. I just want to play the games as they are. I don't want any help, any extra help whatsoever. So there's not much more information on the website versus what's on the box. It's simply a controller input device that you can plug in your other devices to, to make your PS5 think that it's a controller that's being used directly. If you still need more information on this device, what I can do, I can put my previous videos in here. So this one is a B-Savia P5 Mate Razer Wolverine V2 Pro chip. So this is the original B-Savia P5 Mate, which uses a slightly different chip, it said. And my other video, which shows you how to set this up on a Zim Matrix. Now, I don't have any other devices like the Kronos Zen or anything else, so I wouldn't have any instructions on how to set that up. I might reach out to those guys and see if they can send me something, but don't know if they will. And I'm guessing that the setup process for the B-Savia P5 Mate Pro is going to be exactly the same as the Zim, as the B-Savia P5 Mate, the original device. When I scan that QR code, so this same one on here, I'm guessing, it takes me to this website here. I'm going to use the very top banner to navigate. So there's forum, B-Savia P5 Mate Pro, English discussion and English download. I'm going to go straight to English download because I tried it earlier and it seemed to have the stuff I need. Let me scroll down here. So number one says B-Savia, the world's first. Okay, I don't need any of that stuff. What I need to get to is the update that's probably going to be out that I need to do. If I go down to where it says optimize for Zim Matrix user firmware, that's the device I have a Zim Matrix. So I'm going to click on that one. Then I'm going to scroll down. And for some reason down here, it says there has better firmware now. So user, please update the latest firmware. I'm thinking that probably I don't need to download this one anymore, but the newest one instead. So I'm going to click on this just to make sure, see where it takes me. Okay. It takes me to the 15th of the 6th, 2025. That's not too long ago. So I'm probably going to download that one. Then here again, it does say we suggest all P5 Mate Pro users update this firmware. So I'm guessing it's this one here. I am going to click on where it says P5 Mate Pro 2025 0613. So I'm going to click on that one. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. I'm going to choose my documents folder for now. After that file is finished downloading, what you need to do is to go back to where it says English download here at the top. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to scroll down. Then I'm going to go to the section that says P5 Mate Pro manual update firmware download, all of that stuff. So this last one down here, I think I should put the link of this page in the description as well. So at the top, we have the manual download. So this is the booklet that you can use to get the instructions that you need. We have the P5 Mate Pro factory firmware. We have P5 Mate Pro recovery factory. So that I think that simply means how to recover the factory settings. And here we have to simply hold the power button or hold the update button for 15 seconds. P5 Mate Pro update page. Now this page here, you need to visit this using Microsoft Edge. I'm not entirely sure why they need you to use Microsoft Edge because Microsoft Edge and, my, and Google Chrome now use a similar code base, which is a Chromium base. Uh, however, I am going to click on this link. And what I am going to do, I'm going to click up here. I'm going to copy this entire web address. I will put this in the description as well. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to open Microsoft Edge. Once that comes up, double click on that to enlarge in it. I'm going to paste that at the very top there. Press enter. It's going to load that website. So the firmware update is the one that I downloaded just now. I need to. So step one for me is I need to press and hold down this button here on the right hand side. So that's the B. That's the update button here. I need to plug my USB cable into this port here and then plug that into my PC. So I'm going to remove that plastic there. Then I'm going to plug my USB cable into here. And while plugging this into your PC, you simply hold this button down. I did open the instructions earlier from their manual. So if you have a look at my screen, uh, it shows you how to do everything on here. I'll put the link of this as well in the description so you can go ahead and read it for yourself. It's a pretty decent manual. It does explain quite a bit. Originally, I thought that this image here at the very top, where it shows you how to connect devices, I thought that this meant, because it has an X in it, a red X, I thought this meant it would not work with the Zim Matrix. And I was like, whoa. But then I realized that's just the icon for the Zim Matrix. So just listen out. I'm going to hold that button down again, and I'm going to plug this into my PC. So once you hear the connection sound, you go back to your browser. I'm going to click here to connect the device. So I'm going to click again. You must be using Microsoft Edge. It says that at the very top. I'm going to click to connect. It says, it comes up with this option here. I can click on where it says update. Then I can click on connect. And from there, firmware update, choose file. So I'm going to choose the file I downloaded earlier. Click on choose file. I'm going to go, mine was in documents, I believe. And then this is it here. Click on that file there. It's, it's called P5 Mate Pro 2025 0613.bin. Then I'm going to click on open. From here, I simply click on update and we should be good. Please note that there doesn't seem to be a confirmation thing to show that the update's been installed successfully. So I waited for about three minutes and it's still showing just that bar there. What I'm going to do is go ahead and unplug my device and we should be good to go device unplugged. That was a disconnection sound. I recommend going and watching my previous video. I will put a link to that in the de description as well. It will be the very first link that shows you how to connect your B-Savia P5 Mate Pro to your PS5.